Good evening, everyone. My name is Seath Haskins, Code Primate, and welcome back. So I had a bit of a vacation, and uh, on that vacation we got flooded in, so I wasn't able to get back to make a video for you on Monday. So um, we just got back today, and it was it was fun. It was a lot of excitement and a lot of lot of fun. I just <sighs> finally so. Um, I jumped back into studio after not being in it for almost, well, since, what, Wednesday, Tuesday of last week? And I thought, you know, I did the menu thing for, the, like, the admin commands, but I didn't show you, like, the whole process of what I was doing. So, I figured what I'd do tonight is I would just kind of, uh, create something, like, a, an actual menu for you guys. Now, what I want is, I want an actual, like, menu button, so instead of um, just regular button, I'm going to create a button. So what I've done is I've loaded up GIMP here, and um, let's see, let's, let's get a, a nice wood grain pattern of some kind like that. Hold on, try and not get these little knots in there. That looks good. So what I've done is I downloaded a, a grain pattern. It was one of the free arts from Google that I saw. And I'm just going to copy, and then I should be able to um, paste to new layer. Now if I hide that, I just have a circle of kind of what I wanted. So let's go ahead and create a new layer as well. This is just going to be a transparency layer that I can I can take this layer and kind of uh, place it onto. Oh my gosh, I'm totally Bob Ross right now. <clears throat> just a happy little tree. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and anchor that down. And anchor, anchor, anchor. Where are you, anchor? Oh, merge. Merge down. There we go. So. Oh, thank you. Thank you for the subscribe, Kodo. Um, so I've anchored this down to the transparency layer, so now I can work with it here. I'm gonna grab my little magic tool here, my magic wand. Select everything, and then I'm gonna select the edge. So go to select, and let's go border, and we'll go, we'll go three, let's go four pixels, keep it nice and even. And this whole border around the outside, I'm going to use a fill tool. Let's see, uh, granulate, gra gra granulate, gradient, gradient tool. And then, um, let's see, let's use uh, black and where's brown? Brown should be near the reds, right? Like a brownish color. Maybe it's more towards the orange. That's, uh, that's, that's pretty brown. I like that. <clears throat> and let's see. We want linear. Nope. Um, let's do. Ooh, why is my offset just straight? color like that. Okay, hold on. Maybe... Ah, here we go. I don't want the custom. I want the gentle foreground to background colors. We're gonna go with a linear RGB. And instead of being bilinear, let's do the shaped angular. And just drag that across like that. Looks okay. I like that. Good. Press enter. And then if I do control shift A, it unselects everything. And it gives me a nice little border for my button. Let's go ahead and select this. And by the way, the text is actually going to be on a separate layer. So let's just say menu. Oh, the text is way too big. Way too big. May well, maybe not. Yeah, the text is way too big. Let's go down to 100. <clears throat> I 
How's that look? Is that about center? A little bit. Let's go ahead and drag it over just a little. Maybe up some like that. Maybe. I can't really tell. But it is on a new layer, so that's okay. Now, whenever we selected the outside like that, there was a, um, a second border, and we don't want that. But I'm also thinking, let's see, control A, control shift L. So let's do this. Let's do copy. Go to a new layer, all right? Uh, oops, no, not to a new layer. Let's do right click at, oh, no, 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 not a new mask, seriously. <clears throat> I'm gonna do a new layer, all right? And this is gonna be a transparency layer, but I'm gonna bring this back and we're gonna just hide these. I'm gonna paste this on here, but then I'm going to do, uh, let's see, that should be on the, the transparency layer. Anchor, okay. Now I'm going to select like this, and then I'm going to grab this and copy. Right. So then, if I come back over here and do a new layer, I should be able to hide this, hide that, paste this. Oh wait, that's, <laughs> that is kind of inverted, isn't it? Oh gosh. Well, actually that's, that's kind of what I wanted to do. No, I don't want to do that. I want to do the complete opposite of that. So, control Z. Let's go back over here and let's do select Invert and copy. And now back over here, let's do a new layer. Okay. This way we can hide these and this layer, I'm going to paste just like that. Now, if I come back over to this layer, oh, sorry, anchor, anchor that layer down. So that's going to be our actual wood grain pattern that I'm going to shadow. So this right here. I can actually move slightly left and up, just like that. Copy this, and I'm gonna go tools, blur. We're just gonna go, gonna go one on this. Hit okay, or well, maybe two, no, just a one. Just a one, hit okay. So now, ooh, that looks good. Okay, so it looks like it's burnt in. I want to copy that, and then I'm going to do a new layer, okay? I'm gonna paste that in, and I'm just gonna move that right down here, like that. Maybe up some, or, Actually, hold on. Let's leave it in the exact same spot. Anchor it. And then we are going to blur it. But this one we want to blur by three. Oh, let's go all the way down and then up by three. Hit OK. So, when I bring that back, it looks like Minnie's kind of like burned into the shadows. Hmm, not quite sure that I like that. Hold on, this is the first one, right? Yeah. And then this one, it just gives that slight outline. <clears throat> let's do, let's do this. Let's, uh, let's take and blur that just a little bit more.
And then I'm just going to go all copy, paste, 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 like that. Anchor that last one down. Now, if I pull that off, put that back, we want this as our bottom layer, like that. that looks good. Okay, and we'll actually, uh, we'll just drag that up just a little bit. So it looks like menu. Oh, I can't drag it because of the, the background. No. I guess I can pull it up just a little bit. We'll be fine. Still looks really good. Menu. <laughs> I like it. Okay, and that's the that's the portion in the middle. And let's give that just a, a slight color change. So let's go color balance. No, 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 not color balance. I went uh, brightness and contrast. Give it a little bit more brightness. Not you, wrong layer. Hold on, that one. Colors, brightness and contrast. Just slightly. There we go. Hit OK. Beautiful. Now, if we hit this right here, we should be able to go image, crop to selection. Now we can do image, zealous crop. Oop, nope, that didn't work. <clears throat> image, auto crop. Is there an auto crop? Mm, crop to content. Ah, there we go. Beautiful. Now, I'm gonna file save. Uh, this is going to be menu under Roblox My Images, My Lumber Images. Menu button, menu button. But then I gotta extract it. So let's go ahead and export as a PNG. Beautiful. Yes, automatic everything. Perfect. Now if I come back in here, I should be able to go back over to my starter player. Uh, oh, starter GUI. Oh, don't select everything. And right here, I've added a screen GUI called menu. Image button is going to be BTN menu, which stands for button menu. So let's go to um, background transparency is going to be a one. Uh, border size is a zero. And the image that I want, we're going to add new image, choose a file. And it should be under what was it under documents, Roblox, my lumber images right there menu button create yay that should get uploaded oh man okay this looks a little off <laughs> but it does look cool and does it look like the edges might have been cut maybe but let's go ahead and resize this up just a little bit. And where's the center? Ooh, there we go. Anchor that right to the center, right at the top. Now if I hold shift, nope, that didn't work. Hold control. Nope, control Z. What about alt? It doesn't like any of those. That's fine. We'll make it a little bit smaller. That way it looks good on mobile and on Xbox. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna center correctly, but see what it looks like. I think it should, oh gosh, what happened here? Oh, the car. <laughs> I completely forgot. I was messing with the car the other day. <laughs> okay, where's the script for the car? Uh, it's in world under cars under the car itself inside the seat and we're just going to disable it for now play okay whoa 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 what's that why is there a nasty wait is that my admin 
<laughs> okay, so admin button appears underneath that. Let's go ahead and grab this and we're just going to pull it down some. Where's the menu button? There we go. Pull it down to like there. How's that look? Ooh, nicely done. Now it doesn't like highlight or anything whenever I go over it. So let's come back over here and let's do, um, where, where is it? Uh, there should be a, is there like a mouse on over button thingy? I guess not. Ah, here, hover image. And then is there a click image as well? Pressed image. Okay, so let's do this. Um, since we already have this here, let's change, um, where is it? No, not that. The word menu, no. Where's the grain menu? Oh, that's it, right there. So let's go colors. <clears throat> And this one we're going to actually make really bright. So you can, you can move your mouse over it and it goes, hey, you wanted to, wanted to press something. So let's do control shift E. This is going to extrude. And this is going to be menu button hover. Hit export. And then let's take and we're going to Merge down, merge down, and I'm actually going to take that whole image right here and move it down slightly. Okay, control shift escape, and this is going to be menu button pressed. Okay, export, file save. So, Excuse me, little bug. Excuse me. What are you doing? Let's go back over to the hover image and we're just going to add an image, choose a file, uh, hover image. Okay. Yep. Menu button hover and then pressed image. Go down, add image, choose file, image pressed. Hit okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah do it. So, Anything else that's good? Okay, here we go. So that's the effects. As you move your mouse over it, it'll, hey, 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 and then you press it and it'll actually click. So menu, click, 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 click. That's how to do the effects on uh, menu buttons. And that's not just for Roblox or Lua or anything. That also works when you do, oh, my trees. Um, that also works whenever you do um, HTML, JavaScript, stuff like that. A lot of this stuff is done automatically inside CSS for you. So like you can do an anchor and then an anchor hover and then an anchor pressed and each one will change the text, change the color, change what, whatever you want, different aspects about it. So that's the, that's the same concept of what we just did there. But when we go to press, I also want a clicky sound and I don't know if you do, you don't do sounds on, on the actual button. You actually have to make scripts for it. So let's go ahead and add a script and, uh, oh, script. It's gonna, it's gotta be local script. <clears throat> And we're just going to call it menu. <clears throat> Hello world. So because most of my, um, my tutorials are all about scripting and programming and stuff like that, that's what we're going to do next. So in order to get this button, I have to say menu, uh, let's do, yeah, I don't know. We want it to be global. No, it's going to be restricted to this script. So we can do local menu. Uh, let's do in btn menu, the button menu equals script dot parent dot um, btn menu. 
Okay. And then uh, let's create a function. Click sound. Um, hmm. So we have to go and find a clicky sound, a click sound. So let's head over to Roblox. Sorry, I was searching up data saving stuff. I'm still very much learning on the whole data save stuff. <clears throat> head over to create, head over to the library, audio. We want from Roblox only, that way we're safe. And up here, let's just type in click. So we're gonna do a click sound. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hold on. Pause. Thank you. These are just going to be songs, aren't they? Hmm, why is this not working? Go away. No. I wonder. I explore. I wonder if Internet Explorer does any better at this. Let's try. What is that? Oh. <laughs> okay, library. Let's go. <clears throat> Internet Explorer is doing a horrible job at this. Let's go back over to the library. There we go. Let's go audio by Roblox and button press. Let's just try button press. Do a search for button press. Whoa. No. 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 No sound. Nope. 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 No. So loud. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. Can we not and say we didn't? Uh, let's just go to audio. Let's not make it by Roblox creators. This is going to be for all creators. <clears throat> and click. Oh, I could download Old Town Road. That looks like that's free. Ooh. Ooh. I like it. Simple, sweet. Ooh, no. No. I could I could make my own sound. That was a, a mouse click sound. I like that one too. So, um, let's see, what was this? This one and this one. Let's go ahead and do this one. <clears throat> so, in order to create the sound, I'm going to copy this. This, uh, sorry, up inside the menu or in, inside the URL up here at the top, you should be able to see um, the URL of um, the sound. <clears throat> now, because this is a useful sound for GUIs. Oh, Digital Scape, thank you so much. Huge shout out to Digital Scape. 
for throwing that out there. This number right here is what we're going to need. So if you come over to this, I'm going to create a new sound. Insert object sound. And we're just going to call this menu sound. Okay. Oh, uh, let's just let's just call it click sound. Click sound. All one word. Try try not to uh, put any spaces in there because we're gonna. And then down here where it says sound ID, we're just gonna paste that in. Good. And now we got it. <clears throat> So um, up here at the top, I want to declare that sound. So local click, uh, let's do S and D click. So the sound of click equals um, script dot, no, not physical properties, script dot parent dot click sound. So anytime we call click sound, um, let's just call it click. Excuse me. Then we're going to uh, play. Oh, sorry. S and D. Click sound. Colon. Play. Just like that. Oh, wait. Is there is there like a play once or a trigger? Fire once. I think it's just play. Yeah, just play. There we go. It's not going to be repeating and it's not going to be playing. So. Uh, down here, I want to do function menu, click, and <clears throat> basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to say btn menu dot, uh, dot visible equals false. Uh, we are going to wait for two seconds, and then btn menu dot visible equals true. So basically, I'm going to hide the menu, wait a couple seconds, and then show the menu again, because I don't have enough time to go into the next part of the menu. I just want to show you the first part, how much it actually takes to go into an actual menu. So uh, btn dot menu dot clicked the dot mouse button one click, colon connect, menu click, menu click. And I don't need the extras right there. So right there is the whole script, the whole thing, and this should work. So I didn't hear a sound. Did you hear a sound? I didn't hear a sound. Oh, it's because pfft, silly kiss. All right. Um, right here. So as soon as we click, we need to do click. <laughs> So now, now it'll play. There we go. Pretty cool. Looks like I need to move my admin menu over just a little bit. So let's see. Where's the admin menu enabled? And let's move you over just a hair. There we go. And now we need to go back and disable you. There we go. And play. Now something else that we could do is on mouse over, I could do one thing and then on actual click, I do another. So let's go back over to that first click sound. Um, I liked this one and there was one more that I really liked, but I don't remember what it was. What? You silly gooses. What? Why is it? Why? 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 Okay. So, um, let's see. Let's do all creators. And it was click. And who was it? Was it this one? No, that wasn't it. Roblox craft. What was the search term? Was it button click? I can't remember. Oh my goodness. Sort aggression, category, modes, ID. Back one? It's not going to tell me what it was. Hmm. 
<laughs> okay. Let's do button click. Audio. No, that's not it. It was just a click sound. Roblox craft. Oh, there it is. So that was the other one. I liked. So let's do this. Whoops, wrong one. Head back over to studio. Let's hit stop. I'm going to duplicate this. Control D. And this is going to be hover sound. And we're going to change its asset to that one. And play. So now we have that. We have that. Okay. So there's a hover sound. So whenever a mouse hovers over something, it will make a sound. And then when we actually click on it, it will make a secondary sound. So let's go back into the menu script items. And let's say local uh, SND hover equals script dot parents dot hover sound, just like that. And we'll make another function, function hover. Hoover. <laughs> Hoover. And we're going to say SND hover play. So now we got the mouse click. We need to connect the button. BTN menu. Menu dot mouse. Is it mouse over mouse? Mouse enter. Mouse enter. We are going to connect. Uh, hover. So that should work. Nice. And if it's too loud or if something's going on or if we need to adjust the volumes or whatnot, we can always do that later on. Oh, my goodness. The amount of work that it takes just to make a, a simple menu button, you know, something nice. <clears throat> Anyhow, I am going to come up with more things on this menu, like loads and saves and credits and, and buy Robux. I don't know, stuff that I can I can eventually start adding to it. But uh, I hope it's given you a little bit of a tutorial on how to make your GUIs look good. And yes, it's called a GUI, not a GUI, because GUIs are what I grew up with. And that's what I'm going to pronounce them as. So thank you everyone for watching this episode of uh, Let's Make a Game with me in Paskin's Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end. And welcome back. I love you guys. Have a great night. We'll talk to you very soon. <sighs> Outro. Thank you.